If you are looking for a diverse music curriculum for your homeschool, I've got just the option for you right after this. Hi friends, my name is Shayla. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. My kids are ranging from ages four to eight. And this is actually our fourth year of homeschooling. And right now we are really loving unit studies. The company Thistles and Biscuits sent me this curriculum called Woven Melodies. It's a music curriculum. Um, and so I'm going to review it for you. They sent it to me in exchange for my honest review. So let's go ahead and get into it. Woven Melodies is a music study that explores multicultural instruments and composers. And y'all know I love diversity as a black, woman, homeschooler, raising black children. I love to see diversity and representation in curriculum and this curriculum definitely checks all the boxes. It's designed as a year long program, so it's 36 weeks, or you could actually fast track it to do you know, a couple of lessons a week and get through it in like nine weeks. Um, but I love the fact that it's 36 weeks. That means one lesson per week, super easy to incorporate into what we already have going on. Um, and my kids really enjoyed it. Now, first impressions. When I saw this curriculum, I was so surprised and so pleased with how um, everything was laid out, the attention to detail, uh, the watercolors have been hand painted, um, and all the information that's given to the parent in order to actually go through the curriculum with their child, I just, I really, I really liked it. Um, this was in Biscuits is a owned and run by a homeschooling family, a home, uh, mom and dad, um, who have put this together and they have done an excellent job with it. So let's go ahead and talk about what you get when you uh, purchase Woven Melodies. Um, it is a digital product, so no physical product will be mailed to you. This is something that you would download and then print on your own. So you'll receive flashcards, you'll receive a student workbook, and then you're gonna receive a teacher's guide. Now, here's something different from the other unit studies that I've reviewed on this channel. This one does not have leveled notebooks. It's only one notebook. So you're gonna need to determine if, it's, if the questions are appropriate for um, the age child that you have. Um, I'll provide some screenshots and things so that you can see kind of what the questions look like in a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at the teacher's guide first. One thing that I wanted to um, highlight is the table of contents. So if you look here, I'll throw it up on the screen for you. You're gonna see here that all the instrument families are broken up into increments of three weeks. Um, and that's because uh, every instrument family follows the same pattern. So the first week you're gonna go through um, an introduction of the instrument, the different components and that type of thing, an overview of the instrument family. The second week is gonna be a composer. And then the third week is going to be uh, like the history, the geography, where that instrument is used in the world and that type of thing. Now, I, like I said, I love the diversity. Some of these instruments I've never even heard of and I have, I have like a musical background. And so it was really cool um, being able to learn right alongside with my children um, and just seeing the beauty that is uh, in the world and the culture and the diversity that uh, this world has to offer. Another thing that's included in the teacher's guide is gonna be uh, links. Now, the, um, it's actually listed right in the curriculum in the teacher's notebook guide that you should not print the teacher's guide because there's over 200 embedded links right there. And y'all know I love my convenience. You know I talk about casting um, things onto my TV all the time. And so this is just really convenient to have everything right in one place. Um, and so number one, that saves on printing costs for you, but also there, it's uh, really convenient to have the links right there. There's also a book list. So if you want to have books uh, that go along with the different instruments that you're studying, there's um, a fantastic list at the end of the teacher's guide for you as well. Another thing that is in there is a QR code and you can scan this QR code and it'll take you right to a playlist of uh, the different composers music, which I think that is just a really neat feature that they've offered. Um, and I believe that that playlist is often updated. So I think that's really cool. Another thing um, that I wanna highlight is actually the actual text, the actual, actual information um, in the teacher's guide. I feel that the text is very to easy, easy to understand. Um, I think even if you have younger learners, you can summarize uh, pretty well the gist of, you know, what the lesson is talking about. Um, and it's engaging enough to the point where, like, I mean, at least for me, my kids love music. So they're interested in learning about different composers and, you know, different instruments. The only thing I wish I could do is actually physically have the instrument with me 
to you know allow them to play and stuff but obviously like I'm not buying all these different instruments so the next best thing next best thing is talking about it uh, via computer watching the videos so on and so forth so I'm sitting here editing and I forgot to mention uh, the the flashcards so these are the flashcards that come with the curriculum I printed them out and I laminated them because y'all know homeschoolers we you know we love our laminators um, so these come they come in sheets of four and I just had a few of them sitting right here um, but yeah your kids can practice um, then all the different names of the instruments and things like that I'll show you a couple but um yeah so let's go ahead and continue with the review let's talk about the student notebook really quick um, as I mentioned before there's only one student notebook so you're gonna have to determine if it's appropriate for your child so let's go ahead and take a look uh, the first thing I want to highlight is uh, the diagram so you're gonna have um, a filled in diagram of the different components of whatever instrument it is that you're studying and then you're going to have another page um, that's blank and so obviously this is for your child to uh, learn to fill in on their own um, and to use for practice when they're learning about the different instruments uh, the second page is going to be about the composer and so you can see here that they're going to take some time to uh, maybe if they've heard of the composer before they can write information there um, maybe what instrument and then obviously as you go through the lesson they can jot down some more things then um, at the end of that page you're gonna see three questions and these are typically the same uh, for every time you go through a composer and there's just two lines for your students to go ahead and summarize what the what are the things that they have learned so if you want to force them to write in complete sentences that's on you if you want to just have them jot down their notes that's okay too you can have them write a report if you wanted to it's totally flexible um, and that's one of the beauties of homeschooling. The third page for the music family is going to be, it's called My World Of, and then it has like the name of the instrument. So if you're looking at uh, week number uh, one through three, it's gonna say My, My World Of Mandolin. And they get to decide uh, what was their favorite type of mandolin, um, why it was their favorite, why it stuck out to you, as well as a little section on like vocabulary words they can fill out. Um, and so I think that's really cool just for them to kind of recap and do their own kind of thinking. Um, another thing that is at the end of the student notebook is actually copy work. Now these are quotes that were, um, that are from the composer that you're covering during the week. And it's just one quote and you can have them write it every day. You can have them do it on the day that they do the composer, however you want. This is not actually listed in the table of contents, but it is there. Um, it's just at the end of the student notebook. Again, my kids are um, seven and eight who I had complete the workbooks and I think that it was perfect for their age. You could probably even go as far up to maybe like 10, 11, 12 with this curriculum. Um, again, it is very flexible and I like that because we're only doing it once a week, it wasn't really that big of a deal to incorporate it into our homeschooling schedule. If you want more information on Thistles and Biscuits or Woba Melodies, check the links in my description box. I got all the information there for you. Um, I really, really enjoyed this curriculum, you guys, and I definitely will keep it. I will probably do it again because we haven't, it hasn't been 36 weeks. It's only been about six weeks since we started using it. Um, and so we're gonna continue um, and I will definitely update you guys um, as time goes on, as the kids get older. Um, and don't forget to check out all of my other homeschooling videos. I've got all the playlists, everything, everything I always put in the description box. So don't forget to look there. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And don't forget, hiding is overrated. And I will see you next time. Bye.